So now it's time to wrap up our robot gallery. <clears throat> um, let's see, this is what it's supposed to look like right here. So it looks like we have uh, some white picture frames. This is on every list item. Well, look, this space looks just a tiny bit bigger than that space, does it? Maybe, maybe not. Um, and then some gray backgrounds here. So a little bit of work to do, not a lot. I see that this white is on every list item, not just one list. So that's gonna be the generic list item. And it also looks like the gray is on every image tag. We can do some more global rather than specific Let's look again at what we have. This is what we're starting with. Let me scooch this over a little. Gallery.li, I think that's where I'll start with the white background. Save and refresh. Oh yeah, look. There is a little space there. I don't know what that's about. I'm not going to worry about it for this exercise. Um, now let's get the gray on. And that's going to be, let's just inspect, make sure we know what we're doing. Where's an image? Oh, this is a big tag tree. So it could be on this span. It, let me scooch this up. It's not on, no, it's not on the span. Yeah, it's on the image. You can see here that it's the image. And as long as we are able to keep that border, that white border around it, that looks like it. And then as I look at these here, I know that they didn't come all the way to the edge, so there must be some padding on those. Let's see what those are. That is the fig caption, so we'll have to put some padding on the class of fig caption. Maybe it's also on the site, but I think I would try it first on the parent tag to see if that works. That's what it looks like to me. It could be padding left, it could be padding all around. So I'm thinking a little padding on fig caption. I'm thinking some gray on the image, gray background on the image. And I also need to get some padding in between the figures. All right, can I remember all of those things at once? Well, we'll see. Um, let's start with the image. Do I have an image up here already? To display parentage, I will, um, there's the fig caption, I will work backwards. So we know it's the image tag, right? What goes in front of that for parentage? Here's my image. Uh, the first parent is a figure, it, and that's a class. Class equals figure, so it'll be dot figure. and a space between these. And then these are all in, where's that figure? Yep. These are all in the div class equals gallery. So let's dot gallery. Okay, this is what I'm giving my gray background to. Save and refresh. Oof, okay, well, uh, I lost my white border there, but that might have to do with padding on the LI, if I pad the LI. So you can see how this is experimental. Um, and I want padding all the way around, so 
I don't know how much. It was a very small amount. Save and refresh. Oh, that did it. Was that the right amount, though? Was that the right amount? Uh, let's look at this. Make it look like this. Oh, yeah, I think it was, yeah. All right, so space in between. You can see how this, I'm using this to figure things out. Um, and the space in between, I see this should stay the same. So I'll do margin right, because it won't matter how much is out here. Um, maybe 1 EM. All right. Now, the thing I notice that I'm actually not going to fix because I don't think it matters for this exercise is that this sticks out further than that. So mine has a little more space in between here. And I imagine if I popped in the normalize, that would fix it. But for now, I just hope you got a good example of how to look at that tag tree to figure out things, figure out your CSS uh, selectors.